Plans to expand a stretch of I-5 in the Rose Quarter suffered a major blow Tuesday. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler withdrew his support for the project. He explained his decision during a special city council meeting Tuesday evening. ODOT has not met our goals around community and economic development or climate. Even more notable is Albina Vision Trust withdrawing its support. The nonprofit released a statement saying in part, Throughout the country, countless freeway projects have left an ugly legacy of ripping through primarily African-American communities who suffer the harm and experience none of the benefits. The Albina Vision Trust saw an opportunity to work with ODOT and part partners to chart a different path forward. We made this decision to disengage from ODOT today because we refuse to endorse projects or processes that do not align with our commitment to creating a thriving community that centers both black life and black prosperity. Watching them step away from ODOT's project today uh, was very reaffirming, and I'm, I'm so grateful for their leadership. Aaron Brown is an organizer with No More Freeways, a coalition that, from the start, opposed the more than $700 million plan that would add merging lanes on both sides of I-5 between interstates 405 and 84, among other things. Brown says Albina Vision Trust, walking away from ODOT and the project, is commendable. This is exactly the sort of community-driven leadership uh, that prioritizes frontline communities, that represents... Uh, Oregon's racist history and the injustices that our community has been built upon, um, it's time for us to move in a different direction. It's time for us to prioritize investments that heal our community. The same community Mayor Wheeler pledges to look out for going forward. I will look forward to collaborating with Transportation Commissioner Udaly to prioritize congestion pricing strategies for our existing freeways within Portland, ensuring that we're doing so in a way that's equitable and prioritizes low-income drivers to reduce traffic and help everyone get where they need to go. All right, you're probably wondering about ODOT's take on these developments. They released a statement acknowledging that historic transportation investments caused harm to the African-American Albina community, and they're committed to doing business differently. As far as where this project stands today, ODOT says it is not on hold despite this notable loss of support. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.